assalamu alaikum to everyone dear student uh, atx test 3 let us discuss i will try my best to discuss this test 3 in a shortest possible time because whoever is has attempted this question and watching this video means exams are very near so i don't want my lecture to be very long now but i'll be discussing inshallah the entire question i'll be covering all the corners of this question let's read the requirement let's read requirements first uh, i think it's a 25 marks question not so long carry out carry out what let me change the color of my mark okay carry out required carry out work required as requested in the email from your manager normally we know that that uh, you can find requirements in the question that is in the email of your manager the following marks are available sale of 4000 shares in port limited on 1st may 2023 four marks it means it will not be a really big calculation sale of 4000 shares in port limited on 1st may 2023 Cord limited, cord limited 15 marks. Uh, we have to read the question. What it says, rib limited, I believe, 6 marks. You may assume that rates and allowances for the tax year 21 22 will continue to apply for the foreseeable future. Okay. Meta. Name of a question. You should assume that today's date is 3rd March 2023. Okay, we assume. Your manager has requested a letter from Meta, the, the owner and managing director of Port Limited. Is the owner and managing director of Port Limited. Your manager has received a letter from Meta, the owner and managing director of Port Limited, a client of your firm. Extract from that letter together with the extract from an email from your manager detailing the work you are required to do are set out below. Extract from the letter from Meta, dated 2nd March 2023. Sale of 4,000 ordinary shares in Port Limited. Meta has sold 4,000 ordinary shares in Port Limited. Okay. On 1st May 2023. Fine. I'm going to sell 4,000 shares in Port Limited to my brother, Ned. Okay. I note from the work you have already done that the current market value of these shares is 260,000. However, because I am keen to get Ned involved, I have agreed price of 200,000. Very important point. The market value is 260. You are giving it at for 200,000. It means we should be thinking for a gift. And we should be thinking for a gift relief as well. Ned, who is UK resident, will sign the claim for the capital gain tax gift relief in respect of this sale. Another point. The market value is 260, which will be treated as sale proceeds. We are charging, we are getting 200,000 from, uh, uh, Mita is getting 200,000 from her uh, brother. If the consideration which Mita is getting from uh, her brother is more than the cost of 4,000 shares, the, then the amount which is over and above the cost of 4,000 shares, that much amount will become a chargeable gain. For example, just an assumption. For example, let's assume, just for explaining you, assuming cost of these 4000 share is 50000 if the cost of these 4000 share is 50000 meta is charging 200000 to uh, his her brother which means that 200000 minus 50000 150 will be a chargeable gain and this 150 will not be available to you as gift relief so any consideration which you receive over and above the original cost that becomes your chargeable gain other than that charge any amount which is over and above that chargeable gain will you will get that as uh, gift relief if it is available 
जॉइंट वेंचर कॉड लिमिटेड ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2023 आई शेल इनकॉर्पोरेट अ न्यू कंपनी कॉड लिमिटेड ऑन दैट डे कॉड लिमिटेड विल रजिस्टर फॉर वैट बिगिन टू ट्रेड इट विल डेवलप अ रेंज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स ओवर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू इयर्स द प्लान ऑनरशिप ऑफ द ऑर्डनरी शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ कॉड फोर्थ विल गेट सिक्सटी परसेंट होल्डिंग आयदर मिस्टर ब्रिम और ब्रिम्स कंपनी और बीजेबी लिमिटेड विल गेट थर्टी परसेंट होल्डिंग इन दिस कॉड लिमिटेड सी एक्स लिमिटेड विल गेट टेन परसेंट होल्डिंग इन दिस कोड लिमिटेड सो वट वट इज हैपनिंग बेसिकली मीटा इज गोइंग टू इन कॉर्पोरेट एंड न्यू कंपनी द नेम इज कॉड लिमिटेड on that day cord limited will be registered on the very first day that company will be registered for vat okay and this is the division of the ownership 60% holding will be the will be uh, with the board but the question lies here who should get this 30% this should be given to mr brim or brims company brims company or bjb limited we'll discuss inshallah Fourth Limited, BJB, BJB Limited, and six of them all are UK resident companies. Mr. Bremen is resident in the UK as well. Okay. Cod Limited financial information. I have calculated Cod Limited's budgeted tax adjusted trading loss for the year ended 31st March 2024. That is 44,000. So they have already uh, calculated their tax adjusted trading loss 44,000. When calculating the loss, I deducted the whole of the cost attributable to scientific research amounting to one lakh two thousand note one. Whenever this scientific research R and D comes, so the topic which should trigger in your mind is either the company we are solving is which is in front of us, it is a small and medium sized enterprise, or it is a large company, because research and development rules are different in both the companies. I also deducted one thousand in respect of the clock brand. Note two, okay, as it will be amortized over a period of thirty-five years. Okay, let's read the question. Let me give you a hint. In case of an intangible asset other than the goodwill, you have two options: one, to amortize that intangible asset over its useful life, and take that amortization as an expense. Second. uh just claim 4% 4% tax allowance on a straight line basis uh but if you opt 4% straight line method uh for tax allowance that will be an irrevocable election so logically the amount of accounting amortization and 4% tax allowance both will be compared and whichever is higher that should be chosen so we'll see uh 4% of that particular brand is higher than 1000 if yes then we'll obviously go for 4% scientific research cost equipment and computer hardware is 27500 this equipment and computer hardware you will get 100% tax allowance on this 27500 but equipment and computer hardware is a capital expenditure this does not qualify for additional relief material 21000 will qualify for additional relief rent does not qualify for additional relief electricity and water will qualify staff cost we need to check the rent is an apportionment allocation of the rent payable for cord limited premises for the year so this rent is not qualifying for uh any additional relief if it is available all of the staff cost relating to employees of cord limited with the exception of 7000 paid to an external contractor provided by an unconnected company so we just need to see Uh, either this company is a small and medium sized enterprise or large company because in both the cases dealing with research and development is different so let's read the question further then we'll come back to this purchase of clock brand on 1st april 2023 cord limited will purchase the clock brand for 35000 advice will then be required to on how to develop this brand through use of special social media It is intended that Cord Limited will purchase this advice from a company based outside EU, uh, where the VAT is nine percent, rather than as a standard rate supplier for VAT supplier base in UK. Okay. 
Acquisition of Rib Limited on 1st May 2023, Port Limited will purchase the whole of ordinary share capital of Rib Limited for the purpose of UK tax. Rib Limited is resident in the UK. Rib Limited trades through a permanent establishment in the country of Tirona. Rib Limited budgeted tax, uh, taxable trading profit for the year ended 31st March 2024, all of which relates to the activities in Tirona is 75,000. Rib Limited has no other source of taxable income and is not expected to make chargeable gains during their Once we are confident of the profitability of permanent establishment in Tirona, it is intended that Rib Limited will establish permanent establishment in other two countries. Okay. Uh, permanent establishment simply means having a branch of your business in overseas. Extract from the email from your manager. Now comes the requirements. Additional information. Port Limited. Mita owns the whole of ordinary share capital of Port Limited, which is an unquoted trading company. Okay. Mita owns a whole of the ordinary share capital of Port Limited, which is an unquoted trading company. Mita began trading as an unincorporated business on 1st June 2015. On 1st April 18, when the when the asset of her business were worth 1 lakh 20 thousand. She incorporated her business by selling all of the asset to Port Limited in exchange for 10,000 ordinary shares. This sale resulted in a total chargeable gain of 37,400, all of which were relief by incorporation relief, which means that the market value of the business, which is one like 20,000, she has claimed incorporation relief 30, 37,400. This 37,400 will reduce the base cost of these 10,000 shares. So simply market value of assets sold is 1 like 20,000. Let us deduct in corporation relief which is 37,400. So here comes the base cost. Base cost for 10,000 shares. I'm, I'm not solving this on Excel because I believe uh, I can bring more clarity on this. Uh, dear student, I strongly believe you know how to solve all these things on the uh, Excel. We have already done many questions on Excel. So right now, objective is to explain you what I really, uh, what is in the question. So logically, the base cost of 10,000 shares is 82,600. The base cost of 10,000 share is 82,600, okay. And uh, Mita has given 4,000 shares out of these 10,000 to her brother. Cord Limited, Cord Limited is a small enterprise for the purpose of additional tax available for the enterprise on the R&D. Very important one. If it is a small enterprise, then you will get additional 130%. You will get additional 130% on those expenditure which are qualifying for additional relief. You will be getting, you will be getting additional 130%. I have already established that the research to be carried out by Cord Limited will qualify for this relief. Okay. Cord Limited will not surrender any part of the loss in return for the cash refund from the HMRC. Okay. You're not uh, surrendering any loss to get the refund. Rib Limited. Rib Limited has not made an election to exempt the profit of its overseas permanent establishment from UK. If you have an overseas permanent establishment, if you want, uh, if you don't want to give uh, tax on that profit on of your branch, then you can elect the exemption. But once you have elected the exemption, then it is forever. It's an irrevocable election. The rate of corporation tax in the country of Tirona is 14%. Other than that, the tax system in Tirona is same as that of UK. There's no double tax treaty. Okay. Please carry out the following work. Finally, the sale of 4,000 shares in Port Limited 1st May 2023. Calculate Meta's capital gain tax liability in respect of this proceed sale to net assuming. All available reliefs will be claimed. All available relief will be claimed. Mita is resident in the UK. You should assume that she will be higher a taxpayer. 20%. 
in the tax year 23-24 and CGT annual exemption will not be available. It means that is already used. Okay. So now let us first try to do the calculation of sale of 4,000 shares. Let me show you the calculation. It's very, very simple. I think calculation should not disturb us, inshallah. Part A. Uh, simply sale of 4,000 shares in Port Limited. Sale of 4,000 shares in Port Limited. A very important point. Mita has given uh, 4,000 shares as gift to basically his uh, her brother. So market value will be treated as sale proceeds. Sale proceed is 2,60,000. Uh, we need to just deduct base cost of 4,000 shares. Less the base cost of 4,000 shares. Uh, now the question is how to calculate base cost of 4,000 shares. It's very simple. Uh, I just showed you the calculation. That base cost of 10,000 shares is 82,600. How did I calculate that? Market value of assets sold. Basically, Meta has sold uh, her business to the Port Limited. To Port Limited. Market value of assets sold to Port Limited is 120000 if I deduct the incorporation relief, incorporation relief, it is given in the question 37,400. So we'll get base cost 82,600. This 82,600 is a base cost for 10,000 shares. But right now she is giving gift only 4,000 shares to her brother. This is base cost. For 10,000 shares. She is not giving uh, all of the shares, 10,000 to her brother as gift. She is just giving 4,000 shares, which means that base cost of 4,000 shares. We'll take 82,600 divided by 10,000 gives us the cost of one share into 4,000. So 82,600 divided by 10,000 into 40,000. 82,600 divided by 10,000 into 4,000. So we are getting 33,040. So if I deduct 33,040 from 2,60,000. I'm getting a gain of 2,26,960. There's a capital gain of 2,26,960. A very important point. Since Mita is not giving all of 4,000 shares to her brother free, she's getting consideration 200,000. As we discussed uh, earlier, the consideration which is over and above the allowable cost of 33,040 that amount becomes the chargeable gain and other than that, that particular chargeable gain whatever is left that you can take as gift relief which means that if I directly tell you the chargeable gain chargeable gain She is getting consideration of 200,000. Allowable cost is 33,040. So let me use a calculator. 200,000, the consideration which Mita is getting from her uh, brother. There is a chargeable gain of 1,66,960. If 1,66,960 is chargeable gain, the difference between these two values, 
the balancing figure is a gift relief gift relief is simply a balancing figure there is no harm there is no problem to write in exam a balancing figure so difference between 2 like 26960 and it is exactly 60000 another important point it is written in the question that it is written in the question that annual exempt amount is not available second uh, meter is a higher rate tax payer but a very important point is it is also mentioned that all the available reliefs will be claimed so actually meter will get business asset disposal relief on this chargeable gain of 166960 annual exemption is not available it means the chargeable gain and taxable gain both are equal and meter will get business asset disposal relief why meter is getting business asset disposal relief uh because port limited is number one is a uk resident trading company uh second it is obviously private company third meter is also the owner and obviously director and you can say employee of that particular organization so simply you can say it's a personal trading company in case of selling uh your holding in a personal trading company you will get business asset disposal relief so business asset disposal relief is available and due to business asset disposal relief cg rate, rate is only 10% so cgt at 10% due to business asset disposal relief better so if i take 10% of 166960 it becomes 16096 16696 so cgt is 16696 because of bad, better there's no need to write in exam uh, better you should be writing a full form business asset uh disposal relief let me write this business asset disposal relief so that is all about part a now let's go to part b a gives you four marks let's go for b cord limited explain the tax deduction which will be available to cord limited in respect of the scientific research cost of 1 lakh 2000 to be incurred in the year ended 31st march 2023 uh cord limited is a small and medium sized enterprise for scientific research so additional 130% will be available explain the tax treatment uh, i will come back to this tax treatment let us first deal with this uh tax deduction thing additional 130% part b cord limited a uh, simply tax deduction available in respect of scientific research tax deduction available in respect of scientific research and obviously development now let's read the question again because we need to explain as well basically this material the equipment and hardware qualifies for 100% i'm just explaining you so you need to you should be writing in your own words so that in order to save the time the first thing dear student which you need to write is this you will be writing that equipment and computer hardware 100% capital loans is available but this 27500 will not qualify for additional uh, relief because it's a capital expenditure 
the first point for 27500 you need to write is this uh, equipment and computer hard hardware qualifies for 100% uh, capital allowance in addition to that uh, this capital expenditure does not qualify for additional 130% this 21000 is uh, obviously itself is allowable under our research and development in addition to that 130% of this material will be additional uh, deduction will be available rent is deductible but it is not qualifying for additional 130% because this rent is just an allocation electricity and water will qualify for R&D staff cost for staff cost something was written rent is an apportionment all of the staff costs related to an employees of court limited with the exception of this 7000 paid to the external contractor provided by the unconnected company very important point from this 29,500 if I deduct this 7,000 I'm getting 22,500 this 22,500 is qualifying for additional 130 percent but this 7,000 entire amount is not qualifying for additional 130 percent because the rule says if you have hire a subcontractor then only 65 percent of subcontractor qualifies for additional relief so to calculate additional relief on this 7,000 will take 65 percent and then into 1.3 so actually the first requirement is we just need to explain and calculate the amount which qualifies for additional relief. So let me repeat. There is when the first point which people need to write is that computer and equipment hardware is quali uh, qualifies for 100% tax, 100% capital loans and this capital expenditure is not qualifying for additional 130%. Material 21,000 is allowable expense and it is also qualifying for additional 130%. It means this 21,000 into 1.3 this is qualifying for additional relief rent is not qualifying electricity is qualifying if I say staff cost from this staff cost we will deduct uh, from 29,500 first 7,000 will get 22,500 this is qualifying for additional 130 percent for 7,000 we have to take 65 percent and then into 1.3 so here comes the additional uh, relief amount 21,000 into 1.3 gives us 27,300. 6,600 into 1.3, 8580. 22,500 into 1.3, uh, 29,250. 7,000 first take 65% of this into 1.3, 5915. It is 5915. 5915. So 71,045. 1 lakh 2,000 is allowable as an expense, of course, but in addition to that, 71,045 is also uh, available. So, dear student, first you need to explain that computer and hardware will get 100% capital loans, but it is not qualifying for additional 130%. It's a revenue expenditure, it's a capital expenditure, that is why. Uh, rent is just the apportionment it is not qualifying for additional 130 percent then you will be saying that material is qualifying for additional 130 percent electricity and water is qualifying for 130 percent and from a staff cost first we'll deduct 7000 remaining 22500 is qualifying for 130 additional 130 percent and the subcontractor work we have to take 65 percent of that and 65 percent of that subcontractor is qualifying for additional 130 percent which means that 1 lakh 2000 is allowable but in addition to that additional uh, allowable expenditure is 71,045 so the total reduction is 102 plus 71,045 let me show you a little bit more calculation uh, simply you will be saying that entire 102,000 is deductible in addition to that additional 130% is also available
only on qualifying revenue expenditures which means if i talk about material 21000 into 1.3 21,000 to 1.3, it is 27,300. Material, 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 what else we have? Rent is not qualifying for additional relief. Electricity and water expense. Electricity and water expense. electricity and water 6601.3 electricity and water and what else staff cost From this is staff cost, which is 29,500, will deduct 7,000. The remaining qualifies for additional 130%. So 29,500 minus 7,000 into 1.3, it is 29,250. Subcontractor fee. 7,000, we have to take 65% of this and into 1.3. Uh, 7,000 into 65% into 1.3, it gives me 5,915. So 5,915 plus 29,250 plus 8,580 plus 27,300. So additional allowable expense is 71,045. Additional deduction. So total, if I go for the total, total deduction available. One zero two thousand is already available plus this additional seventy one thousand forty five. So we are getting one lakh seventy three thousand forty five. Okay, let's go back to the question. Explain the tax treatment for the purpose of purchase of the clock brand. Uh, let me explain that. Tax treatment of purchase of the clock brand. Amortization is one thousand pound per annum this amount should be compared with four percent straight line method tax allowance which is 35,000 into 4 percent gives me 1400 so simply we'll say Four percent tax allowance should be claimed rather than one thousand amortization. 
because four percent tax allowance will save more tax. Let's go back to the question. We have done. Calculate the amended budgeted tax uh, trading loss for the COD limited for the year ended 2024, taking into account of the explanation requested above. We we need to recalculate the loss by taking this and this. In this, we calculated additional 71,045. Over here, instead of 1,000, we are going for 1,400. If I'm going for 1,400, which, which means additional 400 deduction is available. And the amount of the loss which uh, we read, I think it was 44,000 if I'm not wrong. We have to find out the amount of the loss. It is here, 44,000. So simply recalculate that tax adjusted uh, trading loss. Recalculating. Recalculating tax adjusted trading loss, uh, which is given is forty four thousand trading loss given. It is forty four thousand less additional R and D deduction. Dear student, you should be writing the full sentence, research and development. That is 71,045 less additional brand amortization 400. Because 1000 they have already claimed, so it should, they should go for 1400, so additional 400 comes. So here comes your amended tax adjusted trading loss. So we need, we need to use a calculator, 44,000 plus 71,045 plus 400, that gives us uh, 1 lakh 15,445. Okay, now let's go back to the question again. Explain how much code limited amended the, we have done this. Explain the value. Mm. Explain how much code limited amended budgeted trading loss will be available for use by port limited. We need to explain this. Come back. Code and port, what is the relationship? Mm -hmm. How much is available? Let me explain that. Where is the data? Cord limited, rib limited. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know where is the data. Oh, it's here. Joint venture, Cord limited. On 1st April 2023, I shall incorporate a new company, Cord limited. On that day, Cord limited will be, will register for VAT, okay? and begin to trade. It will develop a range of products over the next few years. Uh, dear student, you need to explain something. Let me tell you. The plan on ownership Porth Limited will be having 60% holding in court. Now listen and listen carefully. CX will have 10% holding. Either Mr. Brim, Brim's company or BJB company will have 30% holding. Number one, 
uh, amount of trading loss which will be available for use by Port Limited. Dear student, you need to first explain to the examiner. Port Limited will get the share of trading loss in Cord Limited only when uh, there is a relationship of consortium. In case of consortium, at least two or more companies should be having 75% holding in a consortium company. And one organization should be having at least 5% holding, maximum 74% holding. Now listen. Fourth is having 60% holding in Fourth is having 60% holding in Code Limited. If 30% holding is with Brim or Brim's company, then this will not be a, a Mr. Brim's company. Actually, Mr. Brim's company is BJB. So this 30% holding should not be taken by Mr. Brim. This 30% holding should be taken by BJB. So if in Cord Limited, Porth takes 60% holding, BJB takes 30% holding, then Cord Limited will become a consortium company for everyone, of course, for CX also, but we are not discussing CX. Right now the question is how much loss of Cord Limited can be used by Porth. So number one, dear student, you need to explain the consortium relationship. At least 75% holding should be in consortium company by two, two organizations should be getting at least 75% holding. So in order to be a consortium relationship, Porth should get 60% holding and BJB Limited should get 30% holding in uh, Cord Limited. If Mr. Brim gets 30% holding, then there will be no consortium company. So let's say 60% holding is taken by Porth and 30% holding is taken by BJB Limited. So in that case, there's a consortium relationship, which means that Porth will get 60% of the loss. So if I tell you what is the amount of that loss, you have to just explain the consortium relationship. Dear student, I'm just... Uh, not writing in my own words, otherwise it will take a lot of time. Um, let me explain again. You will be just writing if there's a consortium relationship, only then Cord Limited 60% loss will be given to Porth. Otherwise, uh, Porth will not get any loss from the Cord Limited. And in order to be a consortium company, BJB Limited should be getting 30% holding in uh, Cord. Okay. So where is the loss amount which we recalculated? The loss amount, loss amount, loss amount, loss amount. The loss amount is this. So amount of the trading loss, amount of the trading loss used by Port Limited. But dear student, again I'm explaining you, you have to first write, Port Limited will only get a uh, share of loss in the Court Limited if there is a consortium relationship. In order to be a valid consortium, in order to be a consortium relationship, BJB Limited should be getting 30% holding in Court. So 1,15,445, of this you will get 69,267. Okay. But you have to write all those things which I explained. I'm not writing otherwise the video will be very, very long. Done this. Explain the val VAT implication of Cord Limited purchasing advice from the overseas suppliers rather than the company base in UK. Overseas supplier, overseas suppliers advice. It was mentioned in the question. Overseas. Here. On 1st April 2020, Cord Limited will purchase a clock brand 35. So advice will be then be required on how to develop this brand through the use of social media. It is intended that Cord Limited will purchase this advice from a company based outside the European Union with a VAT is 9% rather than as a standard rated 
supply VAT register. Now listen. Actually, what you have to write for the VAT implication, let me explain that in my own words, then you can write to save the time. VAT implications VAT implications of purchasing advice from overseas suppliers of purchasing advice from overseas supplier so dear student you should be writing the first uh, first point that provision of advice uh, getting from overseas supplier is a business to business uh, service in that case what happens cord limited will have to pay vat where cord is established so cord is established in uk so number 1 cord limited will have to pay vat in uk at standard rate which is 20% repeat cord limited will have to pay output vat 20% in uk and the same output vat will be treated as input so first cord will have to pay standard rated vat 20% as output and then the same output will be claimed as input so it's, it is called a reverse uh, charge principle in reverse charge what is happening first you are paying 20% VAT output to the HMRC and then same output is taken as input so that is reverse charge principle so simply you need to write that that's a business to business service Cord Limited is taking the advice or service from an overseas supplier in that case Cord will have to pay output VAT 20% to HMRC first and then it will be claimed as input so simply it's a reverse base charge that's it only you need to write these two lines I'm not writing it otherwise a video will be very very long or already have consumed more than 47 minutes let's go to rib limited rib limited what it says explain why the profits of rib limited are subject to UK corporation tax okay Calculate RIB Limited expected UK Corporation Tax liability for the year ended 31st March 2024 based on the information available. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of RIB Limited making an election to exempt the profits of permanent establishment in Toronto from UK tax. Let's read what was happening. RIB Limited has not made an election to exempt the profit from overseas. The tax in overseas is 14%. Okay. How much is the profit if you have your permanent establishment abroad you have to pay tax on the profit of that permanent establishment either you have remitted that profit or not on 1st May 2023 Porth Limited will purchase the whole of the ordinary share capital of Rib Limited for the purpose of UK tax Rib Limited is resident in the UK Rib Limited trades through a permanent establishment in the country of Tirona Rib Limited Budgeted taxable trading profit for the year ended 31st March 2024, all of which relates to activities in Toronto is 75,000. Uh, Rib Limited has no other taxable income. Okay. Once we are confident and the profitability of permanent sum in Toronto, it is intended Rib Limited to establish peace in two other countries. Okay. The tax rate is 14 percent now listen and listen carefully in case rib limited is a uk based corporation and if you are a uk based company and you have permanent establishment abroad you have to pay corporation tax until unless you have uh, opted you have elected for exemption so simply for part c Rib Limited, UK Corporation Tax, UK
कॉर्पोरेशन टैक्स ऑन द प्रॉफिट्स ऑफ रिब लिमिटेड सो डी एस इन द फर्स्ट थिंग विच यू नीड टू राइट इज रिब लिमिटेड इज ए यू के बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड हैविंग परमानेंट स्टैब्लिशमेंट आउटसाइड द यूके द प्रॉफिट वट एवर यू हैव जनरेटेड फ्रॉम परमानेंट स्टैब्लिशमेंट दैट प्रॉफिट इज सब्जेक्ट टू यूके टैक्स ऑब्वियसली यू विल बी गेटिंग डबल टैक्स रिलीफ एज वेल सो आफ्टर राइटिंग दिस सिंपली यू के कॉर्पोरेशन टैक्स परमानेंट स्टैब्लिशमेंट इज हैविंग अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इफ आई टेक नाइनटीन परसेंट ऑफ दिस आई एम गेटिंग फोर्टीन थाउजेंड टू फिफ्टी Double tax relief is available. Either the double tax duty is there or not. Double tax relief is lower off. Tax paid in overseas and tax paid in UK. In overseas you are paying fourteen percent. In UK you are paying nineteen percent. So this double tax relief will be available to you as unilaterally. Ah, uh, why unilaterally? Because there is no double tax duty, but still UK taxation authorities they are giving you the relief. so that is called unilaterally double tax relief because it's not a bi there's no bilateral tax treaty so when there's no bilateral tax treaty still you will be getting a double tax relief but logically it is a unilateral it's not bilateral so simply less unilateral double tax relief 75000 into 14% is 10500 so you will be paying 3750 the uk corporation tax liability uk corporation tax liability is 3750 now the question is what are the uh, benefits what are the advantages what are the disadvantages for election electing uh, the exemption of the profit from the permanent establishment so simply if i tell you what are the benefits uh, and what are the disadvantages of electing uh, exemption of permanent establishment from uk tax number one benefit is you will not be paying any tax on your profit of the permanent establishment whatever profit you are generating which means in in that case rib limited will be saving 5% tax uh, why 5% because you are already paying 14% in overseas in uk the tax rate is 19% so you will be saving 5% okay that's a benefit but the disadvantage is such an election is an irrevocable election which means that when rib limited is going to have more permanent establishment in different overseas uh, countries then this exemption will apply on future permanent establishment as well which means that if permanent establishments are having losses then rib limited will not be able to get any tax relief from the losses of permanent establishment in uk so dear student that was all about tax 3 i strongly believe i tried to take as less time as much possible so that advantage disadvantage which just i have explained you for the permanent establishment please write in in your own words inshallah within one or two days we will share test 4 with you so thank you very much for attempting the question i believe and still you have any queries you can always ask on whatsapp group thank you very much have a nice life